Welcome to another episode of Hashtag Ask a Geek, where I answer your sci-fi fantasy questions. Today, I want to answer a question I've gotten a lot, and more so, after they didn't change the sigil on King's Landing, why is Cersei never called a Baratheon or Lady Baratheon after marrying Robert? So why is she always called Cersei Lannister? All right, so we hear Cersei Lannister quite a bit, but she married Robert Baratheon, so why isn't she Cersei Baratheon or Lady Baratheon? Well, this question can actually be answered with how royal lines work. George, for the most part, appears to use medieval European customs in a lot of elements of his books. It seems he's using those customs as a rule for naming and styling his characters. Generally, because just like today, royal naming and lines could get super messed up. George's inspiration from medieval Europe can help us understand why Cersei is called Lannister and not Baratheon. Basically, it boils down to how royal dynasty names are treated. In general, dynasty names are titles and is not something you acquire or lose through marriage. You do not become royalty by marrying into that family. So a consort of a royal house will marry into a royal house and become a member, but she won't have all the privileges of the royal house. She will keep her maiden name, and all her children with that royal member of the royal house will take the name of that royal house and not hers. Always. So her children will have the royal name, the privileges that come with it, and can become queens or kings. We see this naming convention in A Song of Ice and Fire. Ilya Martell marries Prince Rhaegar Targaryen, marrying into the Targaryen dynasty, but she is still called Ilya Martell, not Ilya Targaryen. Their children together, however, are all called Targaryens. Marjorie Tyrell had the honor of marrying two, three, kings, and is still Marjorie Tyrell. Lilia Lannister became the queen consort of the Iron Islands before the Targaryens began uniting the Seven Kingdoms. Despite marrying Harmon the Second Whore, she was called Lady Lannister and not Lady Whore. There's actually a lot of examples of this in A Song of Ice and Fire history, so it makes sense Cersei is called Cersei Lannister and not Cersei Baratheon. Now, this isn't the same as marrying into a noble house. Most of the time, when a lady marries into a noble house, she will take her husband's last name. Catelyn Tully is called Catelyn Stark. The time she isn't is usually from a character slipping into old habit, or they're making a point about her or their heritage. However, if a woman is marrying into a noble house that is perhaps lower on the societal ladder, she often keeps her maiden last name. A great example of this is when Jenna Lannister married into House Frey. She is called Lady Lannister still, as her family is much higher up than the Freys. And George actually came right out in an interview and stated the same thing, saying, Most of the ladies of Westeros do change their name when they wed, although usage varies. If the wife's family is significantly higher born than the husband's, she may use his name little, if at all. So there you have it. Cersei is Lady Lannister and not Lady Baratheon due to customs of royal naming and dynasties. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Hashtag Ask a Geek. If you have your own sci-fi fantasy questions, let me know in the comment section down below.